Type 2 diabetes mellitus usually develops from a condition called insulin resistance, where the body's fat, muscle, and liver cells don't use insulin effectively to absorb glucose, a kind of sugar, from the bloodstream. The pancreas, where insulin is made, reacts by making even more insulin, but eventually the pancreas can no longer keep up with the body's demand. Unabsorbed glucose builds up in the bloodstream, which results in high blood glucose levels. When blood glucose levels stay too high for too long, it can lead to serious health conditions throughout the body. Type 2 diabetes used to be called adult onset diabetes because it develops most often in middle-aged and older people. However, it is possible to develop type 2 diabetes at any age, even as a child. In fact, because there is a correlation between obesity and type 2 diabetes, and childhood obesity is a growing epidemic, type 2 diabetes is becoming more common in children than it once was. Most people who are diagnosed with diabetes have type 2. In this section, you can find information on risk factors and causes of type 2 diabetes, such as metabolic syndrome, being overweight or obese, inactivity, family history, and other factors. You can also check out symptoms, tests, and diagnosis if you think you or someone you know might have type 2 diabetes. We also cover complications that can result from type 2 diabetes, such as cardiovascular disease, nerve damage, kidney damage, eye damage, foot damage, skin conditions, hearing impairment, and other potential health issues. Finally, if you or someone you know has been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, you can learn about how to manage diabetes, including glycemic control and medications, as well as the importance of shared decision-making with your healthcare team.